Ah, peace. Yo, Malaboy, when will uh, you drop another video? What video? Oh. Yeah, dude, you've been busy making me a tentacle monster, you have no time for YouTube. You're right. So, far, shout out everybody, and my name's the Malaboy. For the past few weeks, I've been studying Ultraman fight scene. Why? It is because I'm studying cinematography and animation during this semester holiday and also trying to get a part-time job. Yeah, let's start with research and study. Lately, Ultraman fight scene take another level in their fight against cinematography. The earliest example is this clip from Ultraman Z, Ultraman Trigger, and Ultraman Decker. What they have in common? Not only good CGI and visual effects, they use a dynamic camera movement and good use of scale. Ultraman is a giant alien. Scale is very important. How do people make them look big? It's easy. Do a human POV camera shot. Like this. This gives a feeling that the creature is very big. In the later season of Ultraman, Ultraman Arc, they use a very unique style in fight scenes. If you watch episode 1 and episode 2, they use long shot and POV shot. The director used long shot fight scenes in a good way. Not like the last airbender. What about POV shot? The director really cooking here with the POV. They really show us how the giants fight through their perspective. I want to turn this into animation. I use two softwares for this step. Blender for animation, texturing, lighting, and etc. Autodesk Maya for modeling. Dude, why don't you just use Blender for modeling? It is because Maya is industry standard. I want to work in the industry. Since Maya tutorials in YouTube is limited and hard, that's why I use Blender for other things else. Let's go for the modeling. For the Kaiju, I use this blocky character for easy modeling of course. Then I model this rip of Ultraman. I made this character before, but yeah, this is bull. I glad I bring this character for one of my university final projects. The name is Chadroman Hadronus. To the blender, I use Toon Shader for these characters using this tutorial. The outline is in this tutorial. I add the armature, bones, and we can start animate. How about the backgrounds? Ultraman and also Godzilla have their own miniature sets. I just downloaded a 3D model on Sketchfab. I don't want to study architecture. It's so f***ing lag! At this moment, I'm so pissed off with the lag. Should I abandon this project? I'm a workaholic person. I am unable to abandon this project. My laptop is burning at this point. What should I do? I asked my senior for a solution. You know what he said? Just hide the city and animate. Unhide if you want to make sure the background is okay with your character animations. I'm not using common sense. What the hell is wrong with me? Compositing. After exporting the animation, I go to Premiere Pro to adjust the timing and stuff. After the effects, for the visual effects. These shock waves and other effects, I just download it from vdz.com. This beam clash is using the Saber plugin. It's free, don't worry. The water splash animation is from this tutorial. I'll also add camera shake for the impacts of every attack. In CapCut, I add the sound effects since they have sound effect preset. I use Alien Mephila's voice for the block guy. Ultraman Nexus <coughs> for Hydrolus. I use another random for it. Random? This guy. What? Ah! Oh, I noticed that guy in your video a lot. They are punching back characters. To the results! What can I say about this result is... I'm proud with it. 
This is good for portfolio. Semester holiday is the best time for portfolios. Follow my ad account on Instagram and see you guys next time.